stole the camera. <laughs> I'm walking out here under mega trellis and checking out everything. We just got back from Greece and I am earthing and it is the best. Ta-ta! I'm doing an Edisto cantaloupe and a Hales Vest cantaloupe. I got these from a local agricultural store that shut down, so I don't know where else you can get these, but that's what they are. I'm very happy to be home. 
You like barrage? Big old sweet blackberries. It's definitely a bumper crop year. I could probably get at least a gallon and a half down here right now, but I'm gonna work on this half gallon because I'm actually running out of freezer space, but these are good. He's at least 90. Yeah, you, you might have, I don't know what his birthday was the other day, but he had a birthday the other day. But, um, 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 he made a song with Billy Strings. Yes, I didn't like it. California Sober? Yeah, I didn't like it. Did you like it? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a bad song. Not what I was expecting, I guess. A lot of energy. Yeah, that's a lot of Billy Strings. Yeah, he's got a specific vibe. You gotta. Hey. You gotta quit messing with my garlic. Mine. couple of mushrooms right here. I'm at my mom's house by the way in the woods and it's been raining the past couple days. Oh these are milkies. Nice. See the latex coming out of them. I think these are golden milkies but they're too old unfortunately. They're huge though. Um, anyways I'm looking for mushrooms back here but we're actually going foraging today, but Taylor's gonna take the video. So if y'all are interested in a foraging video, check out Honey Bee Hollow Home. She's got a much better camera. She's gonna try to capture it. So I might actually try to keep this one. Sorry, the battery just went wacky. But as I was saying, these are what I believe to be golden milkies. I'm gonna go back to the house and do some more research. Some of these are actually still good. This one has a hole in it and a worm. So I think it's, probably infested with uh, bugs and stuff. So I'm gonna take these and drop them off in various places in the woods. Hopefully we can find some more. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you on the camera, but I will show you after for sure. I'm finding chanterelles. Definitely 
uh, go look at Taylor's video. Lots of chanterelles down here. My battery's about to die though, so buy again, probably. I expected it to cut off, but yeah, beautiful. And a couple milkies. Spread yourself, sir. Ah. I think it's a rusla. We'll see if we can find any more. I know they grow this time of year and they break apart like chalk, which it just did. It just looks really old, but we're getting close to the end here. Sorry, my dog's going crazy. Let me know if I've ever seen these before. They're growing out of the ground right here. next to this poplar tree. I don't know, it looks like some sort of mushroom. Whatever these milkies are, I'm finding them everywhere. They're all like right up here, kind of in the light too. I think these are, these are good. So I'm gonna go do a bunch of research on them. I don't think they're actually goldens. Not sure what type of milkies they are, but they are milkies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten ten milkies just right here i hope these are edible and i'm not wasting my time they seem to be where i cleared uh trees for firewood too so maybe they like more sunlight a little bit i don't know Probably gonna take these. Like I said, I'm about to go foraging um, on some other land we have where I usually find a lot more mushrooms. I'm probably gonna take some of these down there and try to spread them down there. I'm probably not, some of them are a little dirty and a little old. And I think they're not usable edibility, but if they're edible. So I don't know what these are. I'm gonna sit here and go through my books. I hope my head isn't cut off in the frame. I'm sorry if it is. And after I look through a couple books, I'm gonna get on YouTube, check out whatever's on there. Learn your land. I think the guy's name is Adam Harrington. That's a really good channel for uh, foraging stuff. So I'm gonna go through all this stuff and see if we can figure out what it is. I believe this mushroom is Lactarius. Piperatus. Um, I'm gonna keep looking, but I don't think this is like a, a very good edible. Apparently there are some Eastern European recipes where they pickle and salt them and it neutralizes the spiciness of the, it's called latex, which is the milk that comes, they call it the milk, but it's, it's, the technical name is latex. It's very spicy, so you can't eat it straight up apparently. So I might try to uh, salt and or pickle or salt or pickle some of these and i'm going to take a bunch of them to silver or to where we go uh foraging normally because apparently lobster mushrooms which are good edibles parasitize uh these these milk or um excuse me the peppery milk cap that's the common name for it. apparently the lobster mushrooms parasitize these so i'm hoping i can get them to spread down there and maybe we can also get some lobster mushrooms in the future for uh, helping these out. So, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll see. If y'all have any experience with these, let me know.
so it's Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is Sunday and I uh, spent most of the morning editing and cleaning off these mushrooms. Uh, we went foraging, as I said, I didn't film the session where we went to uh, my other land to go foraging. So Taylor did that. We found a lot of wood ears and a bunch of chanterelles. So go check out that video. I put it in the corner. Actually, that video probably won't even be out because she's got a lot to edit. But anyways, I'm gonna take these down here to my mushroom yard where I keep my shiitakes and stuff. Just try to throw out some of the older ones that weren't any good and see if we can get some uh, milkies and chanterelles to spread a little bit more down here. The um, the milkies, I think I actually am gonna try some things with them. Like I said, there's not a lot of literature out there on their edibility. There's a lot of videos and stuff and some information, but a lot of it's in like some sort of Cyrillic language, it's Eastern European. The Eastern Europeans really knew how to use mushrooms. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just take them. Put them like this. And like I said, hopefully, uh, maybe some lobster mushrooms will parasitize them. And who knows what we'll get down here. Right, I'm actually, I'm down in my mushroom yard. I haven't been down here since like Wednesday, so. I may actually have some shiitakes or something. I don't know. A lot of my older logs are starting to kick out. The cold weather ones. But the warm weather ones should, one should still be okay. Spread. Don't see anything. Probably needs a little more heat for that one. We'll get to going. Gosh, the bugs are bad down here. I'm gonna spread these out and uh, I'm gonna stake up my green beans. So I see y'all there. guys up hey look at this beautiful amaranth isn't that a, just a pretty plant
I need about five more of these and I'll be good. That'll have to do for y'all. I think I'm just gonna time lapse me weeding this, which I did the other day. Um, P, what are you doing, girl? You gotta get a bath after this. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see y'all probably again next week. Like I said, the getting back from Greece was took a little while to get over that. So yeah, but we're back and we are back in the garden. So. Enjoy the time lapse, y'all. Bye-bye.